To check out all our products, go to musicnomadcare.com. So the first step of the setup process is measuring our neck relief and then adjusting our truss rod to be sure that we have the proper amount of relief in the neck. Relief is the amount of curvature that the neck has from front to back. If the neck was extremely bowed like a banana, you would say that the neck has an excessive amount of relief. If the neck is dead flat, where you put a straight edge on and it contacts every fret, that would be said to have no relief. And if the neck is bent backwards, it would have back bow. Uh, relief is really critical for the uh, way a guitar plays. If you have too little relief, you'll have very low action in the first position, uh, but it can be prone to buzz in the low register. Uh, then the action will usually diverge and become very high in the upper frets, uh, which is a pretty uncomfortable playing position to have it really low in the, in the low register and very high up top. If you have too much relief in the neck, at a comfortable action, the guitar can be very buzzy in the middle of the neck because the frets are coming back up at the end of the fretboard and that will cause string buzz uh, whenever you play mid-neck. So what the proper amount of relief does is it gives just enough clearance for the string to vibrate, but it doesn't make so much clearance that you run into buzzing issues mid-neck. So we will start by measuring the relief in this guitar's neck. Uh, to do that, we will use our Music Nomad truss rod gauge. Now, this is a really cool little gauge and a lot of thought went into making this. Um, not only is it just a really clean design, you've got the three uh, most common truss rod measurements that you'll need to use. Electric guitar at six thousandths of an inch, uh, acoustic guitar and bass at eight thousandths of an inch, and a classical guitar at ten thousandths of an inch. So it has just the gauges that you need, nothing more. It has the instructions printed right on the uh, cover for which way to turn your truss rod in order to tighten or loosen the rod to take out relief or introduce relief into the neck. Um, and also just, it isn't covered with grease and oil like uh, many just mass produced feeler gauge sets. So I really, uh, I really like this gauge. It's very simple to use and a really clean design. The first thing we'll do is we'll put our pick capo in at the first fret. So I'll put it over the E string, under the A string, over the D string, and then I'll slide it up to the first fret. And what that's doing is it's holding the string down at the first fret so I don't have to do it with my own hand. Then I'll put the guitar into the playing position and I'm going to fret the 12th fret on the low E string. Now what I've done here is I've created a straight edge from the first fret to the 12th fret with the string. And I'm going to use that straight edge to measure the neck relief against, and I'll be able to see how far away from the string the sixth fret is, and that will give me my relief measurement. So I'm going to pick my acoustic guitar truss rod gauge, which is eight thousandths of an inch. You might wonder why eight thousandths? Well, I have done literally thousands, probably tens of thousands of setups on all kinds of instruments, uh, either by hand or with the assistance of the Plec for fret work. And we have determined that for most players, you know, 90, 95% of the time, uh, these relief settings work really well as a good baseline to get a, a good, clean, comfortable action on most guitars. We're going to use the eight thousandths of an inch truss rod gauge to measure the gap between the sixth fret and the string. So I'm going to fret at the twelfth fret, then I'm going to put my gauge on top of the fret and I'm going to slide it in between the fret and the string. So I have a little bit of a gap between the gauge and the string. So according to our touch rule printed on the handle of the gauge, I have no touch so I will tighten my truss rod to take relief out of the neck. If you had a heavy touch where you push the gauge between the string and the fret and the string moves a lot, you would want to loosen the truss rod to allow more relief into the neck. And what we're going to achieve is a, just a very light touch where the gauge just skims between the fret and the string. So right now I have a little more gap than I want so I'm going to tighten the truss rod and take out some of that relief. On this guitar, this is a Taylor. It has a, a headstock adjust truss rod. So I'll pull the truss rod cover 
So I'm going to go ahead and take off the truss rod cover and the uh, the uh, truss rod tools in the Music Nomad kit are uh, magnetic. So they will help you uh, keep from dropping your screws on the floor as you're pulling them out of your truss rod cover, which is pretty handy. They're very small and they, uh, they can get lost really easily. So now I have my truss rod cover off and this, uh, this nut is a quarter inch uh, truss rod nut. So I'm gonna use my quarter inch wrench to uh, put on this nut. And in order to tighten it, I'm going to turn it clockwise and that would be looking at the nut from the headstock end. So I'm gonna turn it clockwise about an eighth of a turn. And uh, a couple of things about tightening or even just adjusting your truss rod at all. If you go to turn the truss rod nut, whether it's a headstock adjust or a heel adjust, doesn't matter what kind, if it's extremely difficult to turn, feels like it sees or just feels harder than you think it should, do not force it. Do not try to tighten it, just wait. You can try backing it off, you can loosen it, and see if the nut will break loose. You can put some oil on the threads and then you know try to be sure that the truss rod is working freely. If the truss rod is frozen and you can't get the proper relief curve in your neck, then you should take your guitar down to a qualified local repair shop and have them look into that. So on this guitar, I'm going to tighten the truss rod about an eighth of a turn. And then I'm gonna put the guitar back into the playing position and I'm going to re-measure, fretting at the 12th fret. And that is just touching the string and the fret. So that is a perfect light touch on the gauge. For detailed videos on how to use each gauge during the setup process, please visit musicnomadcare.com for all our how-to videos.